Welcome to Grow Time Live. And today we're talking about how are you and are you growing as a coach leader and the three mindsets you must embrace to be a successful, impactful, and just powerful coach. So Billy Graham said, a coach will influence more people in one year than most will the entire life. And I found that to be true. We've all had good coaches or mentors or someone we inspired us or moved our thoughts, our beliefs, our course, our life forward. And we valued those coaches in our lives. For me, that coach was Coach Irvin Green. And in one year, he shifted the way I thought, and he shifted my actions, and it impacted my journey. See, I was playing JV basketball, 15 years old, and Coach Green was the first coach that actually gave me a sense of confidence and belief in me. You see, I was about a six foot sophomore in high school and I wasn't very athletic and where most people did box jumps, like they put me on the side to do curb jumps. Not very fast, probably around the 40 in probably eight seconds. But in that, I was used to playing this forward position, big man, and he saw something different in me and put me in charge as the point guard on that team. Primary ball handler, get people in sets, get people involved, make plays, and I had doubts. I was consistently overmatched athletically, but yet with the influence of his coaching and the way he built confidence in me, gave me an opportunity and taught me, grew me, gave me insight how to improve and how to get better. Heck, he was the first coach who kind of developed a relationship with me that we talked things outside of sports. That impacted me as a young man. And so during that course of the year, we went 18 and three, won our district championship, and it built my self-esteem and confidence, and that coach made that impact in that one year. And it paid some pretty big dividends. Within two years, I grew to six foot eight, but I still had those guard skills. It was a key thing to land me a Division I scholarship, play for Davidson College, and go on to play pro basketball. And that coach made an impact in my life. So thank you, Coach Green. And look, it's not just in life or sports, let's call it, but it's in leadership. See, Google did this really exhaustive research project, 10 years, called Project Oxygen. Look it up. And what they found was what people wanted in a manager. And the number one thing they found, you guessed it, they were looking for a coach leader. The coach leader makes the impact in people's lives. And so I think, are you growing as a coach leader? Are you invested in it? It's a principle, it's a mindset. It's a way to channel the style of leadership you wanna bring, whether you're leading your people, your organization, your family. Are you that coach leader? It's not easy, it requires work. But look, that coach leader, if that's your aim, if you wanna impact people in the course of your life, adopt that style. Then if you do, what we're gonna talk about real quick is the three mindsets that should drive your behaviors, that should drive your actions. See, what you think and what your mindset frames, you're gonna go chase after and go do. So I'm gonna give you my top three. There's a lot of coaching leadership strategies and thought process and how to be great as a coach. I'm just gonna give you three and you should have three picked out for you and you should grow in those areas. So number one, what I noticed and I reflected even upon Coach Green, he was relationship driven. If we are relationship driven, if that is our mindset, when we go into building and developing others and we go into being a coach leader, are we relationship driven? Do we know how to build effective relationships? Are you growing in your ability to develop relationships? Is that the framework on how you're approaching each and every interaction of the people you lead? So number one, you gotta be relationship driven and that's gotta be ingrained in the membrane, in brain, ingrained, right? So number two, you gotta be obsessed with growth. Not the results, not the performance, but a great coach leader is obsessed with the growth of his people and the growth of their life and their leadership. He knows it's invested in them. And you gotta have a pathway. Whether you're teaching a skill or an ability, you're looking at people that have potential that are in front of you. And you're thinking, I'm obsessed with helping them grow. Not just helping them, and you can always help people, but how are you growing them? How are you helping grow them and the skill and ability, their life, their leadership? That's what great coach leaders are thinking about. They're obsessed with that growth. And then number three, they ask really good open-ended questions. Now I'm just blasting at you right now and I'm just coaching straight forward, but the great coach leaders, 
They're going to challenge people. They're not just going to give them the answers. They want to get people thinking. And that takes work. That takes some effort. But great coach leaders ask great open-ended questions to challenge their peeps, to challenge them in the greater ways of becoming great in their skill or their ability. So those are the three mindsets I want you to think about. Life leadership. Are you going to be committed to being a great coach leader? And if you are, then you're going to need three strong mindsets. Number one, relationship driven. Number two, you're going to be obsessed with the growth of your people. Everyone in front of you has got potential. And then number three, you're going to have to ask great open-ended questions to help steer people's thinking and develop their skill set. Relentless. So look, today, if that growth time message helped you, go put it into practice. That's the challenge. Go get better in driving relationships with the people you lead. Get better at obsessed with how you're going to help them grow and develop. And then three, ask some really good open-ended questions to help steer that conversation in their thinking. So get connected. That's the message for Growth Time. Go to mygrowthtime.com. Feel free on there to register, subscribe to the Growth Time newsletter. It's a free 52-week journey, week by week, and helping you grow through life and leadership. Probably it'll give you a good framework how to be a great coach leader and invest in those people you manage and lead, your peeps, your family, your homes. All right, so what time is it? It's your growth time. It's my growth time. And it is growth time, baby.